Now I've brought some components. I like to build my own lights here. Okay. Um, we have a box with yeah. a bunch of holes in it, and that's going to hold the light and the motion detector. So this is the motion detector I've brought. Okay. So the first motion detector goes this way, 180 degrees out forward. Really? The second motion detector is on the bottom, and that covers 360 degrees pointing down. Really? So in your case, if you're walking out of the garage, it'll turn it on also. That's great. Now, the, what I've brought is these LED lights. Now, these LED lights have a long life. Normal lights, about 2,000 hours. These LED lights are gonna last you 100,000 hours. So chances are I'm probably the last person that's gonna to touch these lights. Great. Now, we have to get power outside. Okay. We're gonna start right here taking apart this outlet. Okay. I've already shut off the power at the breaker. Now I can cut out the old outlet and drill a hole to the outside. Before I go outside, I want to assemble the light fixture in here. Okay. Now we're ready to install the light outside. I'm gonna use this flexible putty to make everything weather tight. All right, we're good here. Let's finish up inside. All right, great. Okay, Erica. Yeah. So we're going to replace the outlet that you had here before okay. with this switch over an outlet. Really? And this switch is going to be used in case you want to override the motion detector. Oh, all right. All right. Great. <laughs> All right, let's turn the power back on. Great. All right, Erica, as soon as you walk in front of the sensor, the light comes on. Oh, I love it. Now, right now, it's in test mode so that okay. we can see where the beam is and adjust it. Now, tonight, when it gets dark, it's only going to come on when you have motion. This is great. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You got it. Mm -hmm. 